My name is Paul Salou. I'm CEO of Fraser Richmond and, and Harvest Power, and I'd like to officially welcome everybody here. Uh, we're very honored to uh, have this event and really to announce our partnership with uh, Natural Resource Canada. Uh, we've got tremendous support for what we're going to be talking about here and showing everybody here, our renewable energy project, taking yard waste and food waste generated as part of the municipal solid waste stream and turning it into renewable energy and high quality compost. Pleasure to be here in uh, Richmond. It's also an honor to represent the government of Canada and have the opportunity to bring greetings and best wishes from Prime Minister Stephen Harper. Removing food and yard waste from BC landfills and converting it into useful energy is a potentially significant source of renewable energy in British Columbia. Right here in this province, you're going to show the world that we have the innovation and technology necessary to develop new renewable energy sources. And the Government of Canada is pleased to work in partnership with Fraser Richmond Soil and Fiber Limited and Harvest Power to help. On behalf of the Government of Canada, I am pleased to announce an investment of $4 million through our Clean Energy Fund in support of this initiative. This demonstration project is a first for Canada. Fraser Richmond's high efficiency system for producing renewable energy from food and yard waste that is diverted from Vancouver landfills into biogas. It's really a good day for British Columbia and I noticed the rains were subsiding as I uh, pulled up. This is a promising company. I'm extremely proud of what our government is doing to support clean energy. Looking in the future, we're fully committed to investing in innovative energy technologies, ones that will stimulate the growth of a domestic clean energy industry, create jobs, and protect our precious environment. That's something that we British Columbians and all Canadians will appreciate. It's a pleasure to be here today to see this great announcement as Metro Vancouver is also committed to making resources out of our waste. Uh, we have a goal at Metro Vancouver to divert 70% of all of our garbage into facilities like this or into uh, recycling by 2015 and then an ambitious goal of 80% diversion by 2020. In my community in Port Coulomb we've been doing curbside, curbside collection of kitchen scraps since 2008 and bring them right here to produce topsoil and organic topsoil as, uh, as they go through the process here. The fact that we can take that a next step further and produce energy out of that is something that we're all looking forward to as we move forward. Metro Vancouver right now takes about 50,000 tons a year to this facility. As we go forward, Metro Vancouver will be banning kitchen organic scraps uh, into landfills or waste energy facilities by 2012 from all single family residents and by all uh, commercial multifamily by 2015. So we're looking to divert 400,000 tons of energy into facilities like this by 2015. So this is just a, an, an excellent example of where we're going in Metro Vancouver. Um, so the facility and the work that is done here is directly related to the sustainability objectives of Port Metro Vancouver. Uh, part of which is to be recognized as a global leader in port sustainability. Port Metro Vancouver was supportive of this facility in 1995. We remain to be supportive of the facility today and the new direction of harvest as they take this facility to the next level. As you can see by, by the speakers we have today from Minister Paradis, John Weston, Greg Moore, Tom Corsi, uh, I'm standing really here uh, on behalf of the work that has been done here previously. It's a partnership and I think it's, uh, it's really important to emphasize that. I think when we're dealing with these materials, yard waste and food waste, you need the support of public policy makers to divert these out for higher and better uses, such as what we're, we're doing here at Harvest. You need to have cooperation with your landlord here. We're on Metro, uh, Port Metro Vancouver land. And of course, we need the great policy, uh, public policy, and then the support here that we're getting from the federal government of Canada, and also from the provincial government here in BC. So we're very proud to be part of this and, uh, and, and, and thank everybody sincerely for the help and support uh, for, for me to stand up here in front of everybody. The way, the way we think about this is that, you know, Harvest and Fraser Richmond Soil and Fiber, we're basically redefining the way organic waste is, is managed. And the way we think about it is that you look at the carbon, energy, and nutrient values within organic waste and compare that to the traditional way that 
many of these organic wastes have been managed, which is landfilling, there's, very, there's a very stark contrast. If you look at the carbon, we take in these carbonaceous waste materials through our process, high solids anaerobic digestion, we make renewable energy. And then the residual carbon is further processed into high quality organic fertilizers and compost, which is returned back to the benefit of the local soils. If you look at the energy, we're doing this in a 14 day process where we're extracting this energy from these organic waste materials. And you look at you know, the, the energy extraction in a landfill, it can take decades. And then lastly, and for me who has a farm background, uh, certainly not leastly, is the, is the nutrient value in these, organic, in these organic materials. In the form of organic fertilizer, or high quality soil products, that nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, all the micronutrients is fully utilized and is used again for the benefit of uh, local lawn, garden, and agriculture industries that we, we sell our products into. So I think, you know, contrasting that with traditional disposal methods, I think we're defining a new pathway here. We're very proud uh, to basically build North America's first commercial facility here in, uh, in Richmond, D.C. with uh, this tremendous support from the federal government of Canada. And we certainly hope this not to be the last one. We think there's an opportunity here for this to be sort of the North American showcase, and we'll do our best uh, to, uh, to, to use these funds wisely and, and, uh, and reward the investment that has been made here on behalf of the federal government and then the significant investment that will be made by Harvest Power and Fraser Richmond Soil and Fiber. So with that, um, I will open this up to questions for the, for the minister and for others. Thank you.